Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Uh, you're looking at Psalm 19 right there, and it says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day, utter well, let's just stop right there. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Hallelujah. That's Psalm 19. Beloved, I just wanted to come here and tell you an amazing, to encourage you, an amazing dream that my mom had. Uh, we met um, about halfway between our houses so that we could spend some time together and um, go over some things that we needed to do. And I love spending time with my mom because she's a believer and she's a sweet smelling aroma, as it says in the scriptures to me, because we both love to minister to people, um, evangelize, um, and give, give the good news of Jesus and bring the Holy Spirit to places that we go to visit. And in this place, uh, on my way to meet with her, I was singing uh, praises, praises and worship to the Lord. And one of the songs I, I sang was, I've got two tickets to paradise won't you pack your bags we leave tonight hallelujah and i didn't tell my mom that i was singing that on the way to see her and that night we went to bed and she had a dream and the next morning she woke up and um, shared with me the dream and i'm going to explain the dream to you um, and then tell you some of the things amazing things that happened so the dream went like this um, my mom and I are sitting on the edge of the bed and she tells me this dream. She says, uh, we were on a plane and we were, um, you were real excited because we were in first class. And I said, really? And she goes, yeah, you, you were, um, so excited. You were, you kept saying, you're so excited. You can't believe you're finally going and you're so excited. And, um, and, uh, and that, um, I would, I guess I was just really excited and joyful about where we were going and that we were on first class, that we had first class tickets. And, um, I was going, mom, how did you do this? This is so exciting. And I guess I was just really joyful. And my mom said that, um, she goes, Oh, I go. And I kept saying, mom, how did you do this? How did you get us on first class ticket or first class? Um, we can't afford this. And I said, how did you do this? And because normally we wouldn't be able to afford first class tickets anywhere. And she says, um, she says, uh, honey, I found a suitcase full of money and it had all these wads of money rolled up in these little bundles in like rolls. And, um, and she, she said, I found this on the side of the road, this big briefcase full of money. <laughs> and I just was like, what? Anyways, um, and so I didn't tell her that I had sang the day before, and I hadn't sang that song in a very long time, that the day before I sang the song, um, I've got two tickets to paradise as I was going to see her, um, and meet with her uh, halfway. And many things happen during our time together. I enjoy spending time with my mom. And I wanted to explain that whenever you're with another believer or other believers, you know, who uh, share the same gospel and faith um, and trusting in, in God, uh, it's a sweet smelling aroma to ha be with other brothers and sisters. But to the unbeliever, we are not, we don't smell good to them, according to the scriptures. We are... Uh, a symbol of death and destruction for them because they are perishing, it says in the scriptures. And so for, for her and I, we just love it because we're able to um, be used by the Lord. Um, we, we met several people that got, that we were able to evangelize to. And one man got the Holy Spirit um, and had this presence of the Lord for a long time. I was, had the presence of the Lord for a long time. He got baptized in the name of Jesus. He got the gospel. Uh, another woman that we met the next day, uh, she was a native Indian, and she said that the Holy Spirit has been moving her. And she um, didn't so much say that she was a believer, but she said the Spirit had been guiding her, telling her that time is almost up, that that she's about ready, good things are about ready to happen, and that it's about ready to uh, be completed. And we see in the scriptures in Revelation, he says it is done. Now, when Jesus... Or it, yeah, it is done, I believe. And 
and it's his testimony to the world. The world's works are wicked, um, but God's work is that he gives everlasting life to all who would believe. And so um, I gave her the gospel of Jesus Christ, and she had a lot of questions. She said, I've been researching some things, and the Lord has been um, leading me and guiding me. And all of a sudden, I was get, explaining to her, the blood of Jesus washes your sins clean. And um, I gave her the gospel track and uh, explained some things. We ministered, um, evangelized, and, um, and the Holy Spirit showed up. She says, I feel tingles all over my whole body. I said, that's the Holy Spirit. You got baptized in the name of Jesus. And she says, yeah, I feel the Spirit all the time. And so the Spirit has been with her before she even got this gospel about the blood of Jesus. And I'm sure she's heard you know, about the blood of Jesus before. Most people have. Um, but the the clear gospel that she needed um, was given to her. And we went over some other things. And uh, I'll tell you, I felt the Holy Spirit for two days pretty strongly. And this dream just confirmed so many things for all of us and that the time is very near and the Lord is um, taking us into paradise, beloved. Because that dream and my song that I sang just confirmed it to me uh, more and more. And I never told my mom about the song um, I've got that I sang the day before, Two Tickets to Paradise. Because at the time, I didn't remember it. I was just so um, excited about her dream. And it didn't come to mind until I, you know, was going to, I was leaving or something. I can't remember when it was. Or maybe I did. Anyways, God move me to do this video to encourage you to know that the time is near and that we're about ready to see our king face to face hallelujah there's reason to rejoice i know many have been struggling but just keep um be um keep the faith and know that and in, as a matter of fact you know jesus is going to remain faithful and just remember that um time is short you know here a day here or a thousand years is like a day to the lord and um the time is very short and we're going to see the glory of God. Hallelujah. And when Jesus was on the cross on the tree, uh, we see um, this man um, next to him being crucified. Also, there was two men, one on each side of Jesus. And one of them said to Jesus, um, where is this? Where he said, oh yeah, here it is. And one of them said this, and he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Hallelujah. And Jesus said unto him, verily I say unto you, is this not wonderful? Listen to this. Verily I say unto you, uh, oh, unto thee, excuse me, today shalt thou be with me in paradise, beloved. Jesus took that man with him back to paradise, glory to God, hallelujah, to a, a place they were dying on the tree on the cross. And Jesus took him to paradise, glory to God, hallelujah, um, to a place that never is destroyed, to that heavenly, beautiful place. Um, God has a plan for you, beloved. I love this, this uh, little scripture reminder. And that is to bring you to that place of paradise where he has prepared a mansion for you, a gold crown, new garments, um, and treasures that will not be destroyed. That's what it represented, that suitcase full of money that my mom had, uh, treasures that will never be destroyed. And she said there was just so much of it, so much money. And um, it's not like the money of earth. She's had dreams of walking over rivers and there's gold in the rivers. And we know rivers, Jesus said, drink of my cup and you'll have everlasting life. We know that water, rivers of living waters flows from heaven. We know that in the garden, there was all these different rivers and um, that went out from the garden. And so the, the rivers um, represent uh, rivers of living words, waters. Jesus is giving us the word of God and he is the word of God from the father. Hallelujah. And so that's something. And he says, drink of my cup freely. So he was giving the God, the Holy spirit freely. And the last few days, God has been given many, the cup of the spirit freely beloved it didn't cost them anything to get baptized in that spirit they just had to believe 
and receive him. And that was it. When they were baptized in the name of Jesus, it was a done deal. They were sealed in the holy, the holiest of holies, who is Christ. Hallelujah. And I hope that this blesses you all because um, in the next video, we're going to talk about, hopefully God willing, we're going to talk about Ephesians uh, 2, 3, uh, 2, 3, and 4, where our fellowship is in heaven and um, this spirit is where we uh, get baptized in that and become citizens of the, the kingdom of God where paradise is and Jesus the savior of the body is the one that takes us there glory to God hallelujah and we will see as it says in revelation his glory um, and all the people and the he heavenly um, angels declare his glory hallelujah all right I hope that this blesses you and that you have two tickets to paradise to agape love